Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A super cool spot indeed because I mean, just check this out. Big old water, big red white walls. I mean, this is super cool. People are boating in this. Wow. I'm impressed. I like this place a lot. This sounds like a super cool place to be. Take out the boat. Man, you go super fast down here. You can go tubing or something. Oh, man. And, and if the water is, like, super deep, like, if this cliff is, like, sheer down. Oh, man, imagine climbing up this, jumping right off. Actually, I don't know. That might be super tall because, I mean, these boats are a lot smaller than I would expect them to be. So it's pretty hard to judge how far of a drop this would be. But, I mean, honestly, this looks like a place that could be a lot of fun, and I'd be totally down to check this out. Now, that being said, where in the world is this? That's the hard part. I think I've seen pictures of this place before. Definitely not this picture. And definitely, I don't think I've seen them in the context of Google Maps or GeoGuessr. I think I've seen pictures of this place in real life. I don't really know where it is. I'm going to say I think it's in America. I think it's, like, either in California or Las Vegas. Not Las Vegas, sorry, Nevada. California or Nevada, near LA or Las Vegas. One of those two, I think, at least as far as I remember. I might be completely off on that, but I think it's somewhere between here and here, right? I mean, it could be, you know, part of, you know, it's not Lake Mead. It's not that. And, uh, I mean, maybe it's like the top part of the Colorado River, but I don't think that either. I mean, honestly, I'm never going to find it, I don't think, unless I just place a guess. So we're going to go between Las Vegas and Los Angeles and place ourselves somewhere like right there. We're going to figure out where this is. This place looks super cool. And the answer was kind of near there. It was, it's actually in Utah. Okay. I guess the closest very big city is actually Las Vegas. But uh, I don't really know about that. Anyways, it's Glen Canyon. Oh, my God. Um, recreation area, National Recreation Area. Wow, look at that. And we've got uh, Escalante River. Wow, that is, I mean, it is really, really beautiful there. I've got to say, that is really, really awesome. 3,624. Hopefully some of you guys knew where that was. Maybe some of you guys knew exactly where it was. I mean, it seems like a pretty famous uh, type place. It is very beautiful and looks very unique. So I think uh, maybe, hopefully, some of you guys could have figured that out. On my part, it wasn't so bad of a guess. 36-24, that's a good score. All righty, here we are in today's daily challenge location. And whoa, we've got a cool place here. This place is really cool. Mostly, well, not mostly, but first of all, I mean, just look at the location. Beautiful, spiky, snowy mountains. This big... Like, this mountain is just weird. It's like a big it's like a big giant pile of sand that we're on right now. Big, spiky, snowy mountains over here, which is always super cool. This sort of antenna station, who knows what's, uh, what's going on over here. And uh, beautiful, like, trees and stuff and a river uh, that's going down over here. But my favorite part about this is, like, the fogginess that's going around here. Maybe there's a big waterfall there. I sort of doubt it, but that's neat. And this river that goes here, it's the same color as the sky. So the coolest part is it looks like this mountain right over here is floating like it's it's floating in the air or maybe these are like low hanging clouds or something who knows what the heck uh, this is it's a bit hard to tell in fact just looking at it i mean i don't really know if it is a river or if it's weird looking clouds or if it's something it's the perspective is a bit weird and it really does look like this mountain is floating uh so that i think is really the coolest part and we, we've got houses down over here and stuff like that my god it is a really cool place i i really i really like this because we've got like oh my god a magical thing and this right over here i don't know it sort of looks like i don't know this cloud looks like something it's, it looks like the kind of cloud you would look at and be like oh look at that it's in the shape of a um I don't know. It's in the shape of a plane. You got the the front of the plane over here. You got uh, you got the tail over here. You got the other wing. This right here. This is the main wing, and like this little section right over here. It's a giant airplane. That's what I see when I look at this. Uh, what do you guys see? And no, that's not what this is about. This is the daily challenge, uh, which means that uh, it is up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Put it down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world do you think uh, this awesome picture was taken. In tomorrow's video, much like in the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. Now, there's not really much 
that uh, that's going on here that I can really use to figure out where this is. And I've got the secret little bonus of looking down at the bottom right corner and being able to see a name. Um, but the name doesn't help me at all. It helps me a little bit. The name helps me a little bit, honestly, but not very much. And uh, I'm still very confused as to where I think this could be. And uh, honestly, I, I really... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit miffed on this one. So, miffed probably isn't the right word. But anyways, where in the world do you guys think this is? Put it down in the comment section below. And if you are the person that guesses closest, I will announce you as the winner in the comment section of tomorrow's video. So there you go. Make your guesses. Where in the world is this awesome place found? Alrighty, so here we are in the main section of today's episode. And today, as every day, is a viewer challenge. This one brought to us by Graven, Graven, or, well, Graven or Graven, or, Gra yeah, it's either Graven or Graven Voss. Not really sure which one. Uh, really depends on where in the world you're from, I guess. I guess it could also be something like uh, Praven, something like that, something like Praven. I, I'm not, I don't really know, geez. Uh, I'm very sorry um, to my Dutch friends out there, because that was an attempt at uh, pronouncing this name as if this person was from the Netherlands. So there you go, you can laugh at me, uh, you guys out there. Uh, you, can have a, have a, you can have a good giggle, uh, but anyways, who knows? Names get pronounced different ways. Also, Voss. Who knows if that's actually Voss? I believe it's Voss as in famous comedian Rich Voss or Voss as in Voss Water. Uh, so those are those are both two examples of names from very different places that are pronounced the same. So I'm guessing it's probably Voss. But uh, about, uh, about the first name, uh, I just don't know. So let's go right in and check this out. We got an awesome challenge going on here. And uh, I'm going to paste it right in there. If you guys want to go send your own challenge, you can. You go to geosetter.com, create your own custom challenge, and you can send it in using the YouTube inbox system. Or you can uh, go and put as a comment in one of the videos. Um, and um, if you want to do this challenge, you can click down in the description below and click on the link and do it yourself. So thank you so much, Mr. Voss or... I think it's it, it's Mr. Right? Oh, I didn't I forgot to look that up when I looked up how to pronounce the name, didn't I? Oh boy. Well, shit. Mr. I'm assuming, but I'm assuming. So you know what happens when you assume? You make an ass out of yourself. And there you go. So awesome. Let's do this. No theme to this challenge. Actually, I'm gonna go check that out. I forgot whether there's a theme or not. So there will be a crossfade. Probably won't be able to notice it because the mouse probably won't move. Uh, on the screen very much. So let's go check out if there was a theme. There is a theme. My god, almost forgot uh, to mention. There is a theme. Actually, our good friend here has been to all of these locations. So that's always a really cool theme. I like that. I uh, get to see the travel someone's been on and be very jealous of the awesome places that this person has been. So without further ado, let's actually do the challenge this time and full screen it. So enough of that stuff. All right. I like this. Very neat. Okay. I like this place already. Now, let's go read what's on the wall here. I should probably do that. All right. Conmemorac, um, 25, Anniversario de la Declaration Salamanca. Co I, I mean, fuck, I'm really bad at pronouncing this. I probably should. Um, okay, so 1988 to 2005. All right, um... Okay, uh, this this thing is is, should, is probably the big clue, but Humanidad. That just says Humanidad, doesn't it? Okay, well, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting that. Um, yeah. All right. I'm not, I'm not really getting it, which is too bad. That's uh, that's sad. All right. Well, okay. Um, what language was that? That's a good question. This place is really cool, though. Wow, look at this. This looks awesome. I like I like this place a whole lot. Okay, we're somewhere in the world. We know that much. And what else do we know? I don't really know. I'd really love to find a flag. Well, what can what can we see over there? We got uh Confiteria. I, I think this is, is is this uh Oh boy. See, this is where I really really 
really screw myself over uh, when I try to make guesses as to where things are uh, in the world. Is this is this Spanish? Now it could be Italian, uh, and it could also be a few other languages. But regardless, ah, oh, Spanish. Thank God. Okay, first guess was the charm. There you go. You can actually see a flag. Thank. Thank the Lord I actually got that on my first guess. I'm really terrible at being able to tell uh, languages that I don't know that are similar or that have similar sort of roots apart. I'm really bad at it. And um, there you go. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? You see this C with the little thing underneath it? Now, I've been assuming that that's a Portuguese-only thing and not a Spanish thing. But we clearly saw a Spanish flag. So... You know, I, I've been I've been assuming that that C with a little uh, squaggly thing underneath it was a Portuguese thing, but now you know my whole world has changed. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay, we're going this way then. So you know, there's that. Um, well, all right. So that was that. That's a bit. That's a bit of a, a throw off right there, but that's fine. We got um, we got a beautiful. We got a beautiful little message that was written there. Uh, lots of good stuff, but. Uh, all right, so we're somewhere. Well, we're somewhere in Spain, so we got that much. And is there? Okay, we gotta click like somewhere around here. Somewhere in Spain, so we can go look at the flag. It's up here somewhere. So we're somewhere in Spain. Okay, knowing that, uh, what do these other flags mean? Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Hmm. I'm gonna say we're in Madrid. Probably that makes the most sense. Be in Madrid, and we're probably right in the middle of it. It's probably a big square somewhere. Madrid is the capital of Spain. I believe, unless, yeah, it wouldn't be that. Oh, Salamansa. Oh, we, that's a word we actually saw. Oh, that's good. So we're probably in that area, right? And uh, you know what What square are we in? Uh, I don't really know. Are we in this square or this square? Oh, we're going to go with we're in, we're going to be in that square. Let's make the guess. Oh, okay, I see. It's a place that shares the same name, but instead of being a region... Uh, like a neighborhood or a region of Madrid, it's its own city. Salamanca. Salamanca. Seem very bad with pronunciations, but that's fine. There you go. That's where we were. It was really beautiful. That was a really awesome place. So you've been there. That's really cool. Sounds like a nice trip to go there. It's not a place like if if I were going to if I were going to Spain, I think uh, like I think the I think the the trip would be somewhere like along. Along right over here, that's where I think I would think of going immediately if I were to sort of go to Spain. Um, I mean, I'd probably end up going to like, I'm not really sure where I would where I would end up going to. Actually, I hear this is a really nice place, Seville or Seville or this place right over here. I hear that's very nice, so that could be that could be somewhere that I'd be interested in going. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's very very cool. Twenty eight forty eight. All right, well, where are we right now? That's the more interesting place. Okay. French. In-store bakery. Newsagen. Interesting. Uh, we get phone numbers. They are... Well, they're... They're, they're not... They're not... Okay, yeah, these are not North American phone numbers. But I already kind of figured that. Mostly because of... I think I... I mean, yeah, you could just look at the buildings, really, and tell. You could just look at a lot of things and tell. Um, we are probably in Ireland. I mean, not just because of this flag right here, but because of the lack of uh, yellow license plates. It's probably a good indication of that. So, there you go. And, you know, there's a lot more. Now Now we get, get you know, added Irish flags, which is nice. Uh so yeah, I mean, I guess uh, I guess we're in Ireland somewhere. A very colorful place that is. Oh, I like this. Really colorful and fun. Oh, is there a circus down there? Hopefully, we drive by the circus. I'm going to the circus. I like the sound of that. We're going to circus, everyone. Oh yeah, last time we were in I no, we weren't in Ireland when we saw that. We were in the UK, but we went over something very similar to this and. Yeah, we were in the UK. Oh, I remember that. That was that was a weird one. When we were like, we were, we were like up near, uh, we were up sort of near um, Newcastle, but we were like even for like, like so, sort of a, around here somewhere like that, and um, 
it was it, it, we, we went a weird sign that was like beware of domestic terrorists or something like that. It was it was like it was something weird like like if you like suspect your neighbors and I was like oh man that is a that is a that is a weird sign to see. Well, we're trying to go to the circus. I don't think the circus is this way, to be honest. The circus maybe it's down over here, but yeah, there you go. We're in Ireland somewhere. We know that much. We're in Ireland. Well, we don't see any water, so that's good. We're like in the middle, and uh, we should probably go look at Ireland instead. Um, so I don't think we're in. Dublin or Galway, I don't think we're in, ah, uh, maybe you went to Kilkenny, that sounds right, I mean, it's place, yeah, maybe you went to Cork, Cork's big enough, it could be Cork, we're gonna call this Kilkenny, though, because, uh, that's a beer, right, it might be, it might not be, I'm not really sure, Kilkenny's a thing, uh, so, yeah, really, really cool indeed, and you get, get to see, you know, everyone drives on the opposite side of the road of most of the world, except if you live in the UK, Ireland, Australia, Japan, uh, I forget, no, does South Africa, Botswana, see some other countries that do, um, does Taiwan, I don't think Taiwan does. No, Taiwan doesn't. Nor does Nor does South Korea. I think I think that's most of them. There might be a few more African countries that do. I'm not really sure. I think we're back. We're back where we started here. So yeah, we're, well, we're not going to guess Cork. We already placed down our guess, right? Kilkenny? Yeah. All right. That's going to be it. Oh, we were actually in Oh, of course we were in Gori. Oh, my bad. Gori. Well, 3678. Very nice. Ooh, I like this look. I look at the look of this place too. Okay. Well, where are we now? This is neat. All right, what do we got here? All right. All right. I should feel like I should know where this is from. Um uh, all passengers. Okay, so this, just looking at this Oh boy, I'm sadly confused. <laughs> I feel so sad that I'm actually confused at that. That's no good. All right, well, what kind of license plates do we have? Um, I don't know. They're kind of hard to tell, actually. These license plates. They're not. They're they're not normal. Oh God. Hello. Okay. Well, we got someone crouching right over there. They don't look like they're too happy. Hmm, these license plates don't have any blue tinge on them, which is weird. Uh, so... I want, it makes me want to say we're in Norway. Honestly. Yeah, it makes me want to say that we're in Norway. Alright. Well, that's fine. Okay, Norway. Iceland? Iceland. 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 That sounds about right to me. Why would I think Norway? Iceland sounds even more right now. Well, let's go look at let's go look at stuff. We got people riding bikes. We got some good stuff. All right. So, I mean, who knows? We don't really know yet. Let's keep let's look around and stuff. What do we see? Sweden? Oh god, this is so hard. Um Faroe Islands. God, I don't really know. This is a this is a very tricky one. Let's go look at flags. Let's see. Do we do we have any? Fl oh, jeez, that's not gonna help me. Look at this. A big collage of flags. Well, um, the flag of Iceland. Isn't it this one? Isn't this the flag of Iceland right here? That one? I think it is. I'm not really sure, but it could be. What else, what do we got here? We got a flag of something. Man, this is a bit confusing. Okay. All right. I'm seeing all this stuff. This is nice. And Oh yeah, I had, I had an interesting conversation I was thinking about today. It's, it's about uh it's about flags actually. Um oh. Well, you know what actually? I'm going to save that conversation. We're going to save that conversation, guys, for uh 3 days from now. Uh and uh then we'll talk about flags, have an interesting uh, flag conversation uh that I'm interested to get in because uh you know, 
well, I'm sure you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I don't like talking about anything political, so I was going to stay away from anything political and talk about flags, but it's probably not even worth bringing up until uh, until three days or two days from now, depending on where you, well, when you watch the video. In fact, uh, it could be worth bringing up a few days in the past, uh, or like weeks or months or years in the past, depending on when you're watching this video, to be honest. But um, we'll keep that conversation for uh, for a little bit later. But if any of you do know what I'm talking about, and uh, you'd like to create a, uh, a custom uh, challenge, in G a themed uh, custom challenge in GeoGuessr that has to do with events that may or may not take place, that I will or will not play depending on if those events happen or don't happen in two or three days' time, depending on um, you know when I post this video, uh, then in that case, I would be very happy to do said challenge if said events uh, either uh, if the set events transpire, and if they don't, then if they don't, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but uh, if they do, then sure, yeah, why not? I'm down. I'm down to do a, f a fun challenge like that. Seems like uh, like something neat to do. And uh, then we can have our fun flag conversation uh, if said events transpire, and if said events don't, then we don't need to have a conversation at all because it doesn't impact my life. Well, I mean, well, yeah. If they don't, then it doesn't impact my life. If they do, it also doesn't impact my life. Uh, but then the flag conversation can, in a very small way, very, very small, but perhaps something uh, could impact my life very slightly. So there you go. You guys know what I'm talking about. Enough of this. We're somewhere in Iceland. We're probably near Reykjavik, I would have to say. I don't know if we're in Iceland or not. I believe that's the Iceland flag, but I totally forget. I don't really think we're in Reykjavik. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, we're, we're down over here. We're gonna go with down over here make the guess it was Iceland Thank God. I remember what the Iceland flag looks like but we're in a smaller place called Sticky show mirror very cool. Wow. What a nice place that was you've been there man That's really cool that you've been there. I am jelly. I am total jelly. Well, where else have you been our good friend Voss? Uh, you've been Oh wow, that's a nice that's a nice painting. Don't know uh, this place. I uh, know it's like a house. I don't know what this is. Okay, it's a building. I was gonna. I don't know what the depending on what that painting is. You know, if it's like some sort of uh, graffiti, then it's really well done. But I don't know if the owners of whatever that building is I appreciate that. We find ourselves in. Oh well, you know that sort of spoiled the fun now, didn't it? <laughs> there you go. We find ourselves in Denmark. I don't know why I it's cuz okay I'm going to say why I spent so long to say that because I really wanted to say to make a joke and say something about Donkey Kong because you know everyone calls him DK right cuz that's his name you know DK Donkey Kong then I was like you know what no I'm not going to make a joke like that first of all I can't think of a good joke but I never do so really there you go and second of all you know it's sort of it's sort of rude right but um there you go. That, that was the entire the entire thought process on that one. So there you go. We're in Denmark. Very neat. Um, so where in Denmark are we? Is the real question. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. There you go. You see a flag like this. I see a flag like this almost every day because there's one. Uh, there's a flag like this that flies quite close to where I live. Um, so there you go. Nice flag like this. It, it is. It is exactly like this too. With like the. It's not a perfect square. It's got like the two, two little sticky outy parts like that. That's interesting. Anyone from uh, Denmark can explain to me why why that happens, or anyone that knows. I mean, I know a lot of you. I, I know that uh, a lot of you, specifically NYO one one seven. You always have such insight in so many places, and you're only from one place in the world. You're only from the Netherlands, but uh, you have a. A lot of knowledge about everywhere, and I always appreciate it when you tell me uh, stuff about the world. So, yeah, uh, because this isn't like the banner flags that we see, uh, we find a lot in, you know, countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and we actually saw one in Estonia too before, which was pretty sweet. Um, it's not like the, the bannery flag, it's like a double banner. It's got like two two triangle things. I think that's I think that's neat. I think it's neat to see that. So that's that's pretty cool. All right. So where in Denmark are we? Well, we're I'm gonna say we're not in Copenhagen. So you know we got that down. Um, but where are we? We are gonna be this time in. 
Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if we're going to be there. No, I don't think we're there. All right, where else are we? In Arhus. Sure. That's, this sounds about right. Somewhere right around here. That looks good to me. Okay, so let's go all the way down here and check. The, oh, my God, was that like a... Look at this dude. So it's, like a, it's like a pilot not on a bike. Or maybe it's like a ship captain or something. Or a ship, a ship person. All right, let's go catch up. There you go. Uh, it's like a ship... It's dressed up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. We can even see badge right over there. Or his badge. My god, that's not at all what you say. But, uh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> he's just riding a bike to work. Or, I don't know if he's maybe riding it for fun. Because if he's riding it to work, I would imagine maybe he'd have like a backpack or like a like a satchel or something. I mean, I'm assuming you probably need to bring a little bit more stuff than just the clothes on your back to work. But, I mean... That's really cool, right? Seeing someone in a uniform like that, just on a bike. I mean, you see, like, police officers on bikes uh, a lot. But uh, seeing someone in uniform that's not a police officer, so it's not like this guy's patrolling. This guy seems like he's commuting or something. And that's that's really cool. It's like commuting on a bike, and he's, you know, wearing his full uniform. It's it's Because you don't usually people, you know, they, they bring different clothes. Like, you know, be dressed like this or something, or maybe not like this. And you have a backpack, and in the backpack, keep the uniform or, or, or whatever in there. But uh, that's really neat. That's really neat. All right. Well, we already made the guess to where I thought we were. Let's make it. We were in Copenhagen. God damn it. Uh, 2902. Well, there you go. We were in Copenhagen that time. So you've been to Copenhagen. Very, very nice. Uh, very, very cool place. Place that we've seen a lot of, but apparently not enough of because I cannot. Um, I, I do not for the life of me. Uh, I'm not able to recognize where we are at all. But we've seen the Little Mermaid or... That might that that might be what that says, which I think I think it's right around here, right? This is the the little the little mermaid statue thing. I mean, when I see the little mermaid, I really feel like is it, it maybe it's not maybe maybe Lilla is not is not little. I just feel like it is. And Den is the, and this is mermaid. It looks like a mermaid statue, and it's really close to this area. I think it's it's like around over here, and it's, I saw it. It was really neat. I mean, didn't see it in real life. Saw it in GeoGuessr. It was pretty neat. But uh, there you go. I think it's a lot more famous than it needs to be. I, I think, okay, first of all, I'm very sorry to anyone if that, that offends anyone. But from what I've heard, and I think I heard from the person that even made the challenge, that I think is also from Denmark, if I remember correctly, that... Uh, you know, the it's one of those sort of tourist attractions that uh, people expect a lot more of when they when they see it, and uh, there is a lot more Copenhagen to see than uh, that statue. But it's it's one of those it's one of those quite famous tourist attractions, and uh, it's one of those ones that uh, may not be as grandiose as you might imagine it to be. You know, its, it's reputation is uh, a little bit more than uh, what it actually is. So 2902, but I'm sure it actually has a pretty cool story behind it. I mean, it must, right? It can't just be it can't just be like a statue or like a, a sculpture. It has to have a story behind it that actually maybe lends it some real importance. 2902, very cool. All righty, well, where are we right now? Uh, ooh, this is a nice place. This, okay, it's on, it, it sort of reminds me of... Um, all right, let's zoom in because I always forget. Uh, I always forget Budapest and Bucharest. I always forget which one uh, is which. So I just need to remind myself that I meant Budapest. Um, so yeah, it sort of reminds me of Budapest, although I don't think it is on this one. It's in Europe uh, yet again. Oh, Wolverine is out. Now we've been to a place where we've seen this Wolverine poster before, I think. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh my god, that was a terrible, terrible film, wasn't it? God, that was that was a really bad one. I mean, I thought X-Men 1 was just alright when I saw it. I thought it was, eh, it's alright. X-Men 2, which a lot of people like, I really didn't like. X-Men 3, this was just, you know, the, the, my expectations were low going in, and they... It didn't disappoint. It was very low going out. And by didn't disappoint, I mean, I wasn't more disappointed than I was. It was exactly as terrible as I would have imagined, which was pretty terrible. And uh, then X-Men Origins Wolverine was especially bad, like really, really bad. And that was uh, that was something. Lisboa, I feel like I should know where that is. Okay, plant... 
Tatro do Campo Alegre. Oh boy, this isn't this isn't gonna be good. All right, let's go. Let's let's go look at uh, stuff that's going on. Uh, PSDV09 Bloco. All right, so these are like uh, political parties. Oh boy, wow! Look at this. This is an interesting picture. It's like two dudes hugging. I mean, that's nice, right? But I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's just it's, it's just funny. It's just a it's just a funny idea. I mean, I can't read it, so maybe you know there's some sort of message that that has to do with two dudes in suits hugging. But if not, then it's a very funny sign if it actually has nothing to do with that. And then there you go. That's pretty. That's pretty good. A washing machine, two ninety nine. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good price. Pretty good price. Where in the world are we? I really wish I was better at reading languages because I'm, I mean, I'm so bad at it. It's, it's very embarrassing at this point, but that's okay. You know what? I like it this way. It gives me, it's more of, it's more of a puzzle like this. Um, maybe I'll get better. Maybe I'll get better one day. She probably looked at that sign a little bit. Probably would have given me an idea of where we are. But, uh, I mean, just guessing right now, um... I mean, I really, I, uh, I feel like we could be in, I really don't know. I mean, let's go, I we need to find a flag. That's the thing. I need to find flags. Flags is like the most important thing for me because I'm just so bad at reading languages. Vota CDU. All right. So we're going to, whoa. All right. That's interesting. Huh. PCP. Wow. Okay. So where in the world would we be then if that were to be the case? I don't know, to be honest. I mean, uh, I was gonna actually... Because, I don't know, this language is a bit interesting. It sort of... It sort of reminds me of... There's a river that runs through it. It, I sort of feels like, I mean, it, it could be Spanish, it could be Italian, it could be one of those two, and it very well might be. Um, all right, well, there's, okay, so there's, there's this, and then there's in French, and then there's in English. So that doesn't really help that much. It's got license plates, you know, they're the European license plates, which is to be expected. Portuguese is what this language is. Oh, thank God we figured that out. Because it kind of felt like Spanish and Italian, but I didn't feel like it was. And to be honest, for a long time I was thinking it was Romanian. Uh, because I'm just that bad. But um, now we actually, you know, thankfully I at least a little bit know flags. Which uh, which helps a lot. Uh, maybe I, there was probably more clues than that, right? Before. But uh, there you go. It's Portuguese. Well, that's just fantastic now, isn't it? Um, so what have we got around here? Okay, we've got, oh, look at that. See, it could have used this, this as a clue right there. See, could have used this right there as a clue. Although, as we found out earlier in the episode, that might not be necessarily something that actually can tell Portuguese apart from Spanish. And I just can't tell either of those apart from Italian. So, all right, we're going to keep going down because this is a really nice place. I really like the look of it. Uh, now, I didn't think we were actually there. I don't know why we were zoomed in for there for so long. We're going to go with Lisbon on this one. Lisbon, really? I mean, all the places you've placed us are a bit different. So we're going to go in Porto then. There you go, Porto. That sounds about right to me. Porto, let's do that. Make the guess. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, there you go. Because you've always placed us in places that aren't quite like the main city. Like uh, when Madrid, it wasn't there. It was over here. It's not going to be Lisbon. It's going to be over here. Um, it's not going to be Reykjavik. It's going to be over here. It's not going to be uh, Dublin. It's going to be down over here. It's not going to be, where was the other one? Uh, the last one was Copenhagen. See, that one, that, that's the one I got wrong. It actually turned out to be Copenhagen on that one. Okay. So, there you go. 62-31. That's not bad. It pretty much saved a round. I'll say that. So, 18-7-41. Very, very cool. So, you've been all over Europe. Lots of cool places. Uh, you've been to Spain in Salamanca. You've been to Portugal in Porto. You've been to Denmark in Copenhagen, the first location where it's like the big city that you've been to the, for the first time uh, that you've uh, that that you've placed us in the big city, the city you probably flew to to get there. 
as I'm sure you probably, well, maybe you can fly to Porto. I'm not really sure. You probably can fly to Porto on that one. Probably don't need to fly to Lisbon. Um, well, depending on where you live, obviously. I mean, if you, I mean, you might have taken a plane there too. You know, a Lisbon to, to Porto plane. That, you know, it's a possibility as well. Um, it's not necessarily that you have to drive there. I always think that people just drive there, but you can always take, you know, one main flight and then a second smaller flight. Anyways, Dublin, Kilkenny. It wasn't Kilkenny. Oh, it wasn't Cork either. It was, uh, it was, uh, Gory. Well, there's a municipal airport here probably. No, there isn't. Okay, well, there you go. You gotta drive there somehow. Uh, and then we were in, well, north of Reykjavik in a beautiful, this place right over here. Wow, that is awesome. Lots of really cool places that you've been to. I'm jealous. I've been to none of those places. None of those countries either. I've never been to Ireland, never been to Denmark, never been to Spain, never been to Portugal, never been to Iceland. Uh, so there you go. 18741. That was cool indeed. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, if you guys want to send in challenges, I'm doing them every episode now, so I do need more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys. Next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.